Well, hi, my name is Eric Rung. I'm with Minus K Technology, and I'd like to talk with you about our vibration isolators. Minus K Technology was incorporated in 1993. Our isolators are all half a hertz, totally passive vibration isolators. There are other passive isolators on the market and have been there for many years. Ours are a little different. When people think of passive isolators, they typically think of air tables. Those are the big air tables that have the air bladders, big optical honeycomb breadboards and so forth that have been around for many decades. Our isolators are also passive, but they couldn't be more different. Our isolators use no air, no electricity. It's all springs and flexures internally. What that means to you is that you can have a benchtop isolator that gives much better performance than a typical air table in a much smaller package that doesn't require any air or any electricity. So your facility requirements are very, very minimal. Our systems are also sometimes compared to active systems. Active systems are different in that they use power supplies, transducers, sensors, and a feedback loop to try to emulate what we just let physics do. Our systems are very simple, basically a spring and a mass. And because of that, we actually outperform active systems as well. We actually start attenuating vibrations in the frequency spectrum before they do. We also ultimately reach higher levels of attenuation for typically also a fraction of the cost. We routinely solve problems for customers that have had laboratories on, say, four, five, six floors, and they can't get good data during the day because of trains, because of automobile traffic, elevator shafts, air conditioning systems, what have you. Once they use our isolators, they're able to get good data at any time of the day. They don't have to come in at two or three in the morning to get really good, repeatable data with their instruments. So we enable them to do better with what they already have without having to spend a fortune on much more complex and costly solutions such as buttressing a lab or doing a whole floor isolation or even doing an active system, which may or may not work with such large amplitudes that you can find in upper floors and also the, the low frequencies that you can find in upper floors. We have isolators that can handle a few ounces of payload up to several thousand pounds per isolator that can be used in a multi-isolator system that allows you to isolate things that weigh many, many tons. For example, we were selected to provide the ground-based test isolators for the James Webb Space Telescope because of the high performance we offered. Our isolators will allow them to test out just how good the optics are on this amazing telescope. This new isolator here is our cubic isolator, or we call it the CM-1. It's basically the smallest isolator we've made in horizontal footprint. It's also quite compact vertically. This isolator is the most payload dense isolator that Minus K has ever made. Basically, this thing is about seven by seven by eight, and it can handle up to 800 pounds. And this can be also put in a multi-isolator configuration. So if you have something that weighs, say, 2,400 pounds, you can put three of these to isolate something like an entire SEM column unit. This is our BM-10. This isolator is really aimed at small atomic force microscopes, um, other small instruments that really want to have incredibly high levels of vibration isolation, but you don't have a lot of room. This offers one and a half hertz horizontal, and we deliver our signature half hertz performance vertically. So it's perfect for things like that. This isolator is our BM-4. It has a half hertz vertically and horizontally. Now for those of you that don't really understand what half hertz really means, I will demonstrate. When I move this table horizontally, you can see it oscillates very, very slowly. So that's the horizontal, and then vertically it does the same thing. It's very, very low frequency. What that means is that the higher the frequency of excitation, I shake this table, this doesn't want to move. That same thing happens in your laboratory. You have an AFM, someone slams the door three labs down, you see a spike in your image, your data's ruined. With this, those spikes are basically attenuated out, so you get very, very good performance, and you don't have to worry about problems like that. When you take them out of the box, you have three leveling feet. You use the leveling feet to get the isolator basically level. You put your payload on. If you change the mass, that's the only time you really have to interact with it. Say so you take some weight off. Now, it's now sitting against the upstop. What I'm going to do is adjust the load adjust until we get it floating again. It's that easy. I've just now readjusted the passive isolator to offer the same level of performance with the weight change. Similarly, if we put weight back on, it's going to drop down because it's a passive system. However, all we have to do 
So use the load adjust again, just a few turns. There you go. It's just that easy. In addition to the three isolators I mentioned here, we have many, many different types and sizes. We have an isolator that looks like this one, that's about two foot by two foot. That one can carry a thousand pounds in a benchtop format. And that's suitable for large inverted optical microscopes, large AFMs, uh, large micro harness testers, interferometers, things of that nature. They're very, very flexible and we can easily configure it to solve whatever your problems are. We also have systems that look like air tables. And we have, uh, they have breadboards on them, they have a built-in frame. They look just like an air table, but they use our isolation technology inside. So we offer our half hertz performance. So you can get very, very high performance in something that looks like an air table that everyone's used to but it's not an air table. There's no air required again, there's no electricity required, but you're going to get very, very high performance. We also have isolators that we call our SM1s, and they are typically about 20 inches tall, 12 inches wide, 12 inches deep. They can be configured for up to 4,000 pounds per isolator. Now we usually use these in what we call our FP1, which is a floor platform system. That comprises a, a floor platform that's weighted, some outriggers that will then interface with the top of the isolators that we can sit on the floor. And these we routinely sell for things like entire SEM column units or an entire TEM, including the console. We routinely solve problems where people have very low frequency problems, such as two hertz, one hertz. Air tables can't solve that. Uh, they have resonant frequencies right in that range. It eliminates air as a possible solution. We can solve that, and we do all the time. Active systems also may or may not be able to help because the low frequencies, they don't have the attenuation in those ranges typically. And if the amplitude of excitation is too large, it can overload the feedback circuit in most active systems. We really pride ourselves on customer service and support. We routinely go the extra mile for our customers for trade shows if they need an isolator really quickly or they have to get it to a customer right away. We're very flexible. We may not be the biggest company out there, but we're lean, mean, and we really, really care about our customers. I hope that you will take the time to learn a little bit more about us, see all the solutions that we offer, and how we may help you in your future vibration isolation needs. We would love to hear from you. Give us your vibration isolation challenge.